birds, welcome back to Storytime with Miss Guest. The book I've got for you today is another of those classics that I'm sure you already know and love, but I wanted to read it for you today. It's called Alma, and it was written and illustrated by David McKee. Alma. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, fat or thin, elephants like this, that or the other, all different but all happy and all the same colour. All that is, except Alma. Alma was different. Alma was patchwork. Alma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Alma was not elephant colour. It was Alma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants, sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Alma who started it. One night, Alma couldn't sleep for thinking. And the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they all laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Alma slipped quietly away, unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Alma met other animals. They always said, good morning, Alma. Each time, Alma smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Alma found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant coloured berries. Alma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Alma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Alma looked like any other elephant. After that, Alma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time, Alma smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognised. When Alma rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Alma as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Alma felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle, same old bright sky, same old rain cloud that came over from time to time, and lastly, same old elephants. Alma looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Alma had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell all ways in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said, and then saw Alma helpless with laughter. Alma, they said, it must be Alma. Then the other elephants laughed too as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst and when the rain fell on Alma, his patchwork started to show again. The elephants still laughed as Alma was washed back to normal. Oh, Alma gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Alma's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Alma will decorate himself elephant colour. 
That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know it must be Alma. <laughs> I love it. I love how colourful and beautifully decorated all those elephants are. I think I like the spotty one best. <laughs> Well, that's it for another episode. But as always, if you have any requests, I'd love you to pop them in the comment section below. And I might do it in another episode of Storytime with Miss Best. But until next time, kaikite.